Hi guys, had a couple of these drop into our garden uh, from fireworks night. And I usually save the sticks to use them for the fuselage for gliders, that sort of thing. It's just a handy supply. Um, but I thought I'd see if I could make a rubber band powered car. We're only talking about using them as the um, fuselage. Who's large? Chassis, front to back. Obviously, we don't need these bits on the end, but I think I'll I'll leave them on there for looks. Um, I've got some CDs that I've already got bottle caps on, just taped in place. In fact, that one, it's got uh, little squares of cardboard hot glued to it, but they'll do. So I'll put a couple of cross braces across to hold them in place. Um, I assume they're the same length. Yeah. And I'll, yeah, I'll hot glue some cross braces on and use some Bits of drinking straw for the axle tubes. I'll get on with that and then come back when I'm finished. Uh, drinking straws, hot glued there. So we can put the rubber band around the axle. Cross member at the back just to hold it rigid. Drilled a couple of holes through the front there to put a cross member through to keep that rigid. And then hot glued a drinking straw on the bottom there for that axle tube. It's got some rubber bands joined together. And round that one over the top. Wind them up a little bit. Uh, I'm ready to follow it with the camera. Uh, might be a little bit lightweight, we might get wheel spin. Yeah, a little bit of wheel spin, but not too much. Okay, that works. I'll put the camera down there, see if we can hit the camera. Well, I think we can safely say that worked. I cut some strips from balloons to put round the back wheels to give us extra grip so we didn't get wheel spin. And it works, it goes remarkably straight. Job done.